Hi friends, welcome to Beautifully Bookish Bethany. Today is my 35th birthday and I thought I would take you along with me to celebrate. It's the morning, my kids just went off to school, I'm about to go have breakfast with my husband and then I'm gonna make a day of it and I'm excited. Am I bringing a book along with me to read? Yes, of course. I am currently reading A Taste of Golden Iron by Alexandra Rowland. This is coming out in August. I am more than halfway through it, buddy reading it with Jocelyn and really, really enjoying it. It's a queer fantasy romance with a bodyguard and a prince and it's great, so I'm gonna be doing some reading of that today. I'm planning to do some book shopping, some other fun things, so come along with me for my birthday. Breakfast at Le Pain Quotidien, but pardon my French, I don't know how to pronounce that properly, but breakfast was delicious and I had a great time hanging out and chatting with my husband. Then after breakfast, I headed out to do some shopping. The first stop was Sephora. I had a few things I needed to pick up, including my birthday gift. If you're part of their rewards program, you get a birthday gift every year. And the one that I picked was a skincare set from Tatcha, which I've been excited to try. They're a really high-end skincare company, so I thought that that would be fun. I also got some more everyday skincare products. If you, like me, are getting into your 30s and needing more extensive skincare routines to care for your skin as you're aging, I have a recommendation if you want high quality products and don't want to spend a fortune. I have been loving the Inky list because they have pretty affordable skincare products that tell you exactly what you're getting in each product. So you can kind of pick what things you need and which ingredients you need. I already have several skincare products that I use regularly from them, but I picked up a few new ones today. I decided to try their peptide moisturizer. I'm gonna try this as a daytime moisturizer and see how it goes. It's supposed to hydrate and reduce the appearance of wrinkles, which Again, mid 30s y'all, it, it is time. I also got hyaluronic acid, which also helps with hydration and plumping your skin. And then I'm gonna try out their oat cleansing balm for cleansing sensitive skin and removing makeup. This was really inexpensive. This whole bottle was like 10 or $11. And the current cleanser I use is much more expensive than that. So I'm gonna try this out and see how I get on with it. But in general, I really like their products. I use an eye cream from them. I use a couple of serums from them. Yeah, I just think they've got some good affordable products. I also picked up one of these lip plumping glosses from the Sephora collection. I really like these if you're looking for something that's a little bit cheaper than like Too Faced for instance, maybe give these a try, they're tinted. And then I needed a new mascara and I really like these collections that Sephora does because they basically cost the same as a full size mascara, but you get to try out five mini sizes and get a little certificate to get a full size. So it's a really good deal if you wear mascara. This is new. It's a collection of clean brands that I guess use more natural ingredients. So that'll be fun to try. Those were all things I needed to pick up, but I did treat myself to a Natasha Denona palette, which I'm pretty excited about. I haven't tried Natasha Denona eyeshadows before because they are very pricey, but I've been wanting to. I'm probably about due for being able to buy a new eyeshadow palette. And so this is my one of my birthday presents to myself. Ooh, ah, very nice, high quality. Comes with like a, it comes with a full size mirror, which is great for traveling. And then look at these colors. I am really excited to play with this. So yeah, that's my Sephora haul. This was definitely a bit of a splurge, but I'm excited. From there, I went to Barnes & Noble because they sent me a $5 off $30 coupon for my birthday. I picked up two books at Barnes & Noble. I bought a lot of books today, y'all, so <laughs> it might be a little excessive, but it's my birthday. I'm excited. Uh, I got The Marvelers by Danielle Clayton. I have been hearing excellent things about this. It is her first, I believe, middle grade novel. They're working on a potential TV show. It's already been picked up for more books in the series, and they had a signed edition, so I got that. And then the other book I picked up was The Stardust Thief by Chelsea Abdulla. I have been hearing some rave reviews. This is one where I was kind of waiting to see what people were gonna say about it, but man, it sounds so good. It is a Middle Eastern inspired adult fantasy novel by a debut author. And y'all, look 
at this gorgeous book under the dust jacket. So very happy about those. That was my Barnes and Noble purchases. Then of course I had to go to Starbucks for my free birthday drink. If you haven't tried it before, this is my new favorite thing. I'm usually more of a hot coffee drinker, but if you haven't tried their iced shaken brown sugar oat milk espresso, it's delicious. It's like brown sugar and cinnamon shaken iced coffee and oat milk and ugh, it's so good. So good. So that's been my new obsession if I'm going to Starbucks. I got that for my birthday drink. And then I messaged Jocelyn from Yogi with a book who I'm actually buddy reading with and she was free for lunch. So I went down to Brooklyn to meet with her. Hey, hi had some delicious tacos. Thank you so much for lunch, Jocelyn. Also the neighborhood we were in, Bushwick in Brooklyn, has this really cool street art and graffiti. Used it for some Instagram pictures with books I had with me. After lunch, we walked over to this cute little Bushwick market. They had so many cute things there. It was this really cool little flea market. And I found this old copy of Under the Lilacs by Louisa May Alcott. I love Louisa May Alcott, and this was such a cool addition. It was like $2 has illustrations and Jocelyn got it for me. So thank you, Jocelyn, for lunch and my cool new Louisa May Alcott book. This is awesome. I just, I really like old vintage books like this. So that was fun. Then Jocelyn had to head back to work, but she told me about this really cool bookstore in the neighborhood we were in called Mil Mundos. And of course I had to go check it out. It's this really awesome bilingual bookstore that is community run. They have Spanish and English books and they primarily curate their collection to showcase books by people of marginalized identities, not just Latinx, but other black indigenous person of color authors, queer authors. And I picked up two books from there. Go support your local Indies people. I got Notes of a Native Son by James Baldwin. I have been meaning to read from James Baldwin for quite a while and I don't have any of his books on my bookshelf yet. So I decided to change that. This is a modern classic of his, so I'm excited to read it. And then I also found this, which I had never heard of before, but it looks amazing. Queer, A Graphic History by Meg John Barker and Jules Scheel. This is awesome. I really like nonfiction graphic novels and this is like queer history in graphic format, which is awesome. So maybe I'll read that in June for Pride Month. If you're ever in Brooklyn, definitely go and check out Meal Mundos. They do a lot of really cool community support things as well and uh, had a really good time hanging out there and chatted a little bit with one of the booksellers. It was awesome. After that, I took the train back up to Manhattan and on my way home, because it's my birthday, I thought, you know, why don't I stop in at one more bookstore? <laughs> so I went to Housing Works Bookstore, which is another nonprofit bookstore that is run by volunteers. It's amazing. All the books that they sell are donated by people or by publishers and the money that they make all goes to supporting the Housing Works nonprofit, which provides really important services to queer folks, people living with AIDS, people who are dealing with homelessness, and they just do a lot of really good work. So I like them as well. And I of course found a few books. It is mostly used books and really good prices. Here's what I picked up at Housing Works. First up is The Need by Helen Phillips. I'd heard really interesting things about this. It's not super long, but it's like a sci-fi thriller about motherhood that's supposed to be weird but interesting. And I've kind of had it on my radar for a while, wanted to read it, and it was only $5, like practically new, so I picked that up. I also found copies of two books that I read as a teenager that I remember liking and I just kind of wanted to own them. I found Mist, the book of Tiana. I'm slowly collecting these. My fellow elder millennials might remember Mist. It was a wildly popular computer game in like the 90s and I was a fan. There were also three books written that were based in this world and I read them back in the day. And look at this. I was just amazed. This copy has the original map. This book came out in 1996 and this copy has the original map still in it. 
I couldn't not get it. Also $5. Like, did I spend more on books today than I normally would? slightly but supporting indie bookstores and good causes and then lastly I found a first edition of Spindle's End by Robin McKinley. I remember finding the ending of this book to be fairly disturbing actually when I read it as a young teenager but it is a retelling of Sleeping Beauty and it was only four dollars. One other thing I picked up they also have like blu-rays and I found a blu-ray copy of Romancing the Stone and I was just talking to Jocelyn today about this movie and could not resist picking it up. So five dollars for a blu-ray copy of Romancing the Stone um which I feel like I need to watch. Michael Douglas and Kathleen Turner y'all it's a classic. So that was all of my shopping. It was really fun. I came home, dropped stuff off, and then I went out and got myself a delicious peach cobbler cupcake and Molly's cupcakes and an iced tea and sat and did a little reading and it was just lovely. I also came home to a bunch of book mail. I'm not sure what all of it is. It's possible that one or two things are things I've ordered. I don't know if some of it's gifts. I know I have one thing from a publisher. We'll see if we can do this before my kids get home, but I have four packages. <laughs> that came in the mail. Three of them are from Amazon. I think I'm expecting one book to arrive today, but there might be others. Who knows? So exciting. I do not know. Oh, okay. I think this one is a gift. Oh, cool. Uh, somebody got me Go Hex Yourself by Jessica Clare. Who's this from? Oh, from Amanda. Thanks. Amanda says happy birthday. Thank you so much to Amanda from the Naughty Librarian. I have heard really good things about this. I know Mara really enjoyed it. It's like a witchy contemporary romance that's supposed to be really good that came out this year. So thank you so much, Amanda. That was so nice. Do I have so many books right now? Yes. Yes, I do. Okay, next package. Let's see what this one is. Oh, okay. This is books that I actually ordered myself. So I got Beyond Shame, Creating a Healthy Sex Life on Your Own Terms by Matthias Roberts. I actually bought this because I just finished reading Hashtag Church 2, which was excellent, by the way. I will have a video talking about purity culture in context of that and another book coming relatively soon. But one of the books that she had recommended at the end of it was this one and it sounded really interesting. So uh, yeah, I decided to give it a try. It's not super long, but it's written by a gay man who came out of the evangelical church. And yeah, sounds sounds interesting. And then lastly, I have a book that I bought for reasons that will become clear in a few days of when this video goes up. So stay tuned. But a book I've been meaning to read for a while. This is Drag Me Up by R.M. Virtues. R.M. Virtues is an indie published romance author who writes kind of darker queer romance and I have plans for this book. I'm very excited. Drag Me Up is a Hades and Persephone retelling where Persephone is a black trans woman who I think is like an acrobat in a circus or something like that and Hades is a black demisexual slash pansexual guy. So very excited to read this. Again, stay tuned. There are plans. We have another Amazon package. Oh, okay. This is also one that I bought for myself for a forthcoming video. So this is The Best of All Possible Worlds by Karen Lord, a sci-fi book that I think has some kind of a romantic element to it. Angela from Literature Science Alliance loves this book. It is one of her favorite books that she talks about all the time and I have been wanting to read it for a while and I have plans for it. So yay, that came very quickly actually. Lastly, I have a cute little package from Entangled Publishing talk flirty to me. Let's see what Entangled sent. So exciting. Very cute packaging. All right, what do we have? Oh, okay. It, the, the book title is in fact talk flirty to me, appropriate, by Livy Hart with a, some marketing materials and a bookmark. A little hate goes a long way. I have not heard of this. This is cool. 
Um, I've got 99 problems and my brother's snarky smart mouthed best friend Sam is tangled up in every last one of them. When it comes to Sam O'Shea, absence and a regime of tactical avoidance has been working for me just fine. But when the audition of a lifetime falls in my pathetically broke lab and he's the only one who can help me land the job, I'm willing to make a deal with the devil if it means I can kickstart my career. Um, they're going to be narrating an erotic, ro an erotic romance. So it turns out they are narrating an erotic romance together. That is actually um, kind of a great setup. So brother's best friend, enemies to lovers, they're working together in a little booth narrating a steamy romance. I, I kind of love that. That's a great premise. So cool. Thank you so much to Entangled Publishing. My kids just got home from school. We're gonna have dinner and they wanted cake, but I was like, I'm not baking myself a cake today. So we're gonna make ice cream sundaes after dinner because they wanted a treat to celebrate my birthday, which is cute. So we're gonna do that. And uh, it, it is entirely possible that my husband also bought me books. So if he does, I will come back and show them to you and then wrap up this vlog. But it's been a really fun day. Got to hang out with a friend. I got a lot of books. There's a lot of <laughs> Is this like a little excessive? It's a little excessive. But you know what? I have been very cautious with my book buying lately. And some of them are older books I, I've read before. How many books did I get today? I've got between, it, it's a lot. But uh, yeah, I'm going to uh, have dinner, enjoy a peach plum LaCroix and uh, I will check back in and sh maybe show you our ice cream sundaes but so far it's been really fun. We had these delicious little ice cream sundaes. The kids were thrilled and my husband did in fact buy me books for my birthday. I'm really excited to read both of these so thank you so much to him and then we decided to watch Romancing the Stone which was a lot of fun and yeah it was a great day. I had fun. Thanks for watching. Comment below if you have any thoughts on books that I bought, and I will talk to you next time.